Um, so playing for Wojo, um, I know, you know, I had experience with Wojo as an assistant. Um, so is he uh, as intense as ever uh, as a head coach up there? Definitely. Think of whatever <laughs> you, your experience was, but he had he had the keys to the way. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was he still uh were they still playing pickup games uh after practice and stuff? <laughs> yeah, they play noon ball, man. It, uh yeah. we always get a good laugh out of watching. Oh man, it's great. Play. It's great. <laughs> he's still hey, he's still the same player he was in college. Oh yeah, so same dude. <laughs> exact same dude. It's funny, man, it was it was um they had Wojo and um Chris Collins who um he's head coach at Northwestern now. And you know, you put them two together and CC for those who don't know, is just he just talks so much. He talks so much trash, and you know, so he so he's going. Wojo's going. It was it was it was the funniest thing, man. And they would go after practice, and you know, normally after practice, you're tired and you just want to get out of there. But I'm, you know, we always stayed for at least a few minutes to watch them because it was just comedy. <laughs> yeah, I always pulled up early to my list and stuff to watch for a minute. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was, it was yeah. Um, hey, see game two then. I oh, yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. See, well, see, well, got game. He can't really move, but he get, he get a bucket. He can get a bucket. I'm about to say, he get down there, he gonna get you some. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, so looking back on your four years, how would you describe your time at Marquette? Um, you know, it was a lot of learning opportunities. Um, definitely learned a lot. Um, it, it, I, overall, it was just a great experience, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I have nothing bad to say about Marquette as a program uh, or as a school. Uh, they they did they did me right. They stuck to their word, and um, I got a lot of respect for them for that. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, because of the weird year with COVID and everything, um, obviously the NCAA granted everybody basically extra year eligibility. Um, what was that? I mean, like, did you go into the year knowing, like, I'm going to take another year, or did you have to make a decision at the end of the year? What was that like? Uh, so, honestly, up until about three weeks ago, uh, there was no way I was coming back to school. Really? Uh, I wanted to turn professional and finally make some money, mm -hmm. uh, be able to support my family and everything. Um, but after talking with them more, um, we kind of figured, like, it wouldn't hurt to uh, – just see what the options would be. Mm -hmm. So that's why I put my name into the portal. So I'd have all my options in front of me. And, uh, you know, after uh, uh, Coach K and Sewell reached out, um, I just felt like this was going to be the best fit. And yeah. yeah. What, um, so what was the, what's your, what was your second recruitment process like? I mean, did you, how many team? was there a lot of teams coming after you or how, how did that go? Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of teams. Uh, it was a lot quicker uh, than the first recruitment process was. Um, but, it, I mean, it, I, I, ultimately, it was a lot of the same things I was looking for. Yeah. Just I knew I wanted to be in somewhere that was going to help me in the long run. Uh, this was definitely, in my mind, a business decision mm -hmm. uh, to come back, uh, try to better myself so I can be at a better spot to start my uh, professional career. So, um uh, but I mean the same things. Like I said, when I was younger, it was relationships, and same with here. I mean, having C, uh, knowing that he's gonna be there, uh, somebody that I already know has that relationship with, and then uh, I mean it's kind of a small world playing for uh, Wojo. I mean he's a direct, he's directly from Coast K, so mm -hmm. I feel like I'm almost still in the family. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, you kind of ha feels like you should have a bit of a a leg up on most transfers and grad transfers just because you should know you know i would assume wojo didn't change a ton of the terminology and and how he communicates and um obviously there you know going to be some differences in, in in some plays and things like that but i'm sure a decent amount of stuff will be the same so you should be feel kind of right at home when you get there uh, exactly exactly um so <clears throat> saw you wearing 12 was that um a nod to Wojo at all? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. So Sia sent me the available numbers, and mm -hmm. I saw 12. I actually used to wear 12. Uh, my favorite player way back in the day was Dwight Howard when he was on yep. the uh, Magic. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, so it's kind of like a throwback for me and a little nod to Woe. It's just yeah. kind of out of respect. I mean, that's what got me to this point. So, yeah. What um what would you say, you know, his influence has been on you in the last four years? You know, Woe, he, he, he pushed me. He pushed me his last four years and uh, a tremendous amount of respect. Um, he, uh, I mean, he has a different way of showing that he loves you. But, oh, yeah, for uh, sure, I, for sure. I know it's all love between him and me, and uh, I'm, I'm happy in what uh, my decision was to uh, be coached by him. Yeah. 